The purpose of money is to spend it. But saving or investing money causes money to be withheld in such a way that what you spend the money on will be useful. So today, I will be talking about what exactly saving or investing your money means. Anyhow, let's get started. Saving is what you do long term in order to have money for another chapter of your life. For example, you save for retirement so that come time to hang up your spurs so you've got some changes in your pocket. Or maybe let's say you save for your kids future education so they don't get buried in debt to get an education. Or let's be specific, you save an emergency fund. So overall, none of these savings are with an eye to getting stuff or having wonderful experiences. They are all done with an eye to providing an income if a time comes when you won't have an income or to produce an income. So saving is understanding that the dollar that you earn today has to also sustain you tomorrow when you stop earning. For example, if you have saved enough, you will be able to deal with the healthcare and also other situational crises better than those who don't save. Now that we have discussed and clarified saving, let's move on to a better option, which is investment. So investment means that it's an asset or item which is purchased with the intention of producing income or appreciation. So the term appreciation refers to an asset value that is increasing over time. So for example, when a person buys something as an investment, Their aim is not to consume it, but also to use it in order to generate wealth in the future. So overall, an investment often entails the current expenditure of some asset time or money or even effort in the expectation of higher return in the future than what was initially invested. Okay, to not make it confusing, there are two main metrics for how good an investment is. Risk and reward. If the risk is high, then so are the chances that you will lose your money, at least in the short term. But if the risk is low, then you're almost 100% certain to keep or grow your money. And also, if the reward is high, you will earn lots of money. If the reward is low, then you won't earn lots of money. In fact, you might even lose a little bit of your money. For example, Let's say that if you keep your money in your savings account, then it might lose value over time due to inflation. Now, there are some few types of investment that I will be talking about them. So the types of the investments are stocks, shares, and also CDs. So these are the simple ways in order for a person to invest. Now, let's start with stocks. So basically, stocks enables you to invest in a company's equity, which means that you get a residual claim to the company's future profits and also win voting privileges, which is based on the amount of the shares that you own, or also to influence the company's course. But on the other hand, the bonds and CDs, These are the debt investments in which the creditor invests money in a project that is supposed to generate more cash flow than the interest owed to the holders. Okay, now that we have covered the meanings and descriptions, let's talk about their differences and similarities. Saving and investing are both important concepts for building a sound financial foundation, but they are not the same thing. While both can help you achieve a more comfortable financial future, the amount of risk taken is the most significant distinction between saving and investing. You will normally receive a lower return by saving, but still you will be effectively risk-free. Investing, on the other hand, helps you to gain a higher return while still exposing you to the risk of losing your money.
Now, their similarities is that both of them use specialized accounts with a financial institution in order to accumulate the money. For savers, that means opening an account at a bank, for example, Citibank or Credit Union. But for investors, that means opening an account with an independent broker. So savers and investors, they both also realize the importance of having money saved. Thank you.